Hi friends, now we're going to talk about how we can automate some uh, master data extension or master data, extend, master data maintenance process in SAP using a standard workflow, using custom workflow, but in a very easy way. So let me tell you what is the issue that we are going to solve. Okay, so suppose I go to ME21N, okay. And I'm in M21N, and suppose I want to create a purchase order. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to create a cup, copy a purchase order. So I'll go here, I'll execute. And now here you can see, I'll just click like this. And now we'll get an error message that this supplier has not been created for this purchase organization. Now we decided that this needs to be extended. So what generally what people do, they do, they generally send an email to the master data team and then they extend it and all those things. But all these email things and all those things, when they come for auditable, it's not auditable because they have forgotten to attach it and all those things. And this is a process which is completely manual. You take the screenshot and send it to the master data team. Sometimes you don't even know. You send it to the IT and then the IT send it back. So how we can automate this process? Very easy. First thing is we need to click on help, okay? And from here, what we are going to do is we want to get the application area and the message number. Next, we are going to, what we are going to do is we are going to create a workflow, okay? So in order to create the workflow, we are going to go to SWEUY, okay? That's the workflow from messages, okay? So here we are creating Okay, and you just click on continue here. Okay, and here we are going to put the message number. Okay, that was the message number. If you notice, this was the message number 06027. Okay, now what we are going to do, we click on continue. Okay, and we'll say replace existing assignment. Okay, that. Okay, and we click complete. That previous screen where replace thing came because I had already created a workflow before this demo but that will be uh, ignored. So we'll click on complete. Now we'll click on save local objects. Now here we'll give some information. Workflow for uh, vendor and we'll put this and vendor. This will be in this MM, MSG V1 for vendor extension for Purchase organization and give another details so it's easy to understand. So we now click on save. Now it's done. Now we click on workflow builder. Okay, in order to create the design. So what we will do, we'll create a decision task where the master data team will get uh, the decision task where they can approve or reject. So what we are going to do, we are going to click on create. And here we are going to click on user decision. Okay, click on user decision. That's it. Now here we'll say approve uh, vendor and we'll give this extension for uh, purchase for and we'll put this. And we we'll put the parameter here. The parameter would be so the first parameter would be the vendor, which is stored in this variable, and the next would be the purchase order, which will be stored here. Now, here we are just going to simplicity. I'll put workflow initiator, but ideally, it should go to the master data. Okay, so here we are going to put approve extension, reject extension. We are going to copy the same thing. And we'll put it in the outcome and for justification reject make it mandatory now we are going to click on the green arrow here and now we are just going to click on activate okay now our workflow is done now what we are going to do we're going to close this close this now i'll again start testing it we could have tested there also but just for the simplicity we want to start testing again so purchase order and this is the purchase order i am copying 
and I'll just copy from here again you can create it from scratch and here I get this error message I'll click on help and now I'll go and click on workflow and here we have the workflow decision task ideally it should be sent to the master, master data team and here they can approve the extension once they approve we can create a script that will auto extend the vendor and send an email that this has been extended to the initiator if it's rejected then they have to give a justification so if i click on just rejection this pr is wrong please use another pr okay so something like that click on enter and the workflow will close that's it thing is done so we can we have automated the master data extension process or anything and you can use this same concept using any other message id and you can streamline your business process and this the greatest thing is this is auditable when later on uh, when someone audits the system it's everywhere there the master data team has approved or rejected it and it was initiated by the business okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and, uh, and happy sp learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it because there is always not something new to learn every day